All right, so now we're going to look at integer subtraction. So integer subtraction, so it's, we're just doing subtraction, but with integers. Again, integers are positive and negative whole numbers. That, of course, includes zero. Um, so we want to look at this because let's say you have to subtract negative numbers, or let's say you're at, uh, if you're at negative three in your bank account and you subtract or take to withdraw 10 more dollars, well, where are you at now? Many of you would say, oh, I just go down. That's easy to think about. Yes, it is. But what about when you're subtracting negative values? Um, so it looks like negative three minus negative 10. What would you do? Well, we're going to take a look at that. Um, but in order to do this, just remember what subtraction really is. Subtraction tells you how far away your second number is from your first number. So if you were to look at things on a number line, you could count forward or backwards and on a number line to determine how far away the second number is from the first. Well, that's going to be no different when you have this with the integers. So we're looking at four examples here, just involving the number 7 and 2 in the positive and negative versions of them. Uh, we're just going to see how would you subtract these to find the answers. Well, the first one is a little tough, so bear with me here. But we can do this. All right, what is 7 minus 2? 7 minus 2. Or how far is 2 away from 7? Well, that answer is quite simple, right? Because if you ask yourself how far is 2 away from 7, we would just say, okay, well, I have to increase 5 in order to get there, right? Well, that's right. So the answer for this, 7 minus 2, would, of course, be equal to 5. Quite simple. We got 5. All right. Not too bad, huh? No, probably not. Because many of you are like, well, we did that already. Or I've known that for... My whole life, it seems like, from your number facts. And that may be true. Okay, well, let's look at something a little different this time um, that you saw at the end of the Android Edition video. Um, but let's look at this again. We have 2 minus 7. So 2 minus 7. Well, what is 2 minus 7? Hmm, this is different. It doesn't look like the last one. But remember, what is it asking? It's asking how far away is 7 from 2? I don't know. Well, you can't. If you keep going up from seven, you'll, there's, you'll never get the two. But we can go the opposite direction, right? Opposite. Again, remember, opposite is a, another way that you can think of for negative. So we go in the opposite direction, meaning negatively, we will have to go down five. So two minus seven would, of course, be negative five. Okay? That's not too bad, right? Well, let's look at another way that people like to deal with subtraction. Sometimes when they see subtraction, what they'll do is rewrite this. They'll rewrite this as a dish, negative addition. So similar to what you saw with integer, integer addition, what they'll do is they'll take the first number, leave it the same, and they'll take this minus sign and turn it into a plus negative. So in other words, 7 minus 2 is the same as 7 plus negative 2. And for some people, this makes it super easy in order to solve. And if you're one of those people, guess what? You can do that too. There's nothing against changing the minus sign to a plus and negative or taking a plus negative and changing it back to a minus sign. Whatever's going to make it easier on you, you do. Okay, let's look at the next thing here. So we have 2 minus 7. 2 minus 7. Well, we already said the answer was negative 5, but if we rewrite this, we'll have 2 plus a negative 7. And for some of you, you're like, oh, I can definitely tell that that now is going to be negative 5. I can totally see that now, Mr. Stevens. Well, good. So let's look at it when our first number is negative to start off with. Oh, hmm. So we have negative 7 minus 2. In other words, how far is 2 from negative 7? Well, again, we have to go down in order to get there, right? So our answer would have to start off as a negative. Okay. Well, how far is 2 from negative 7? Well, we get from 2 to 0, that's 2. We get from 0 to negative 7, that's 7 more. So 2 plus 7 will be a total of 9. Oh, ho, 9. All right. Okay. Well, if we look at this problem in the other way, changing our minuses to plus negative, let's see what happens. So this negative 7 minus 2 would be negative 7 
plus a negative two. Oh, we just talked about that in integer addition, right? In, 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 integer, in integer addition, if you have two negatives added together, the answer was still negative, and you just add the two values. So negative seven plus negative two would just be negative nine. You see why people like to change things sometimes from minus or subtraction to negative addition? Because it makes, easy, it makes it easier for them to visualize, easier to see, easier to understand what the problem's asking. But it's not necessary at all to do. You can do it either way. All right, we got one more for this one, all right? Okay, seven minus negative two. In other words, how far is, yes, that's right. How far is negative two away from seven? How far is negative two away from seven? Well, if I start at negative two to get back to zero, hmm, that's two. Then to get from zero to seven, I think that's seven more. So two plus seven, and we're moving up doing this, that's gonna be a nine, a positive nine. All right, well, let's see what happens when we do the other way. Hmm. I hope we can get through this one. This looks like it might be a little tough. Probably not. So we have a seven, change the minus to a plus negative. Oh, there's already a negative there though. Well, we got two negatives and a two. I've never seen anything like that. Even the way you wrote it, Mr. Steven, it looks like it equals now. I don't even know what's going on. Well. If, neg if you think of negative as opposite, which we've said several, several times now, this is saying 7 plus negative negative 2, or 7 plus the opposite of negative 2. Hmm. Opposite of a negative. Let's see, what would that be? That would be positive, right? So that means that this whole thing would really just be asking, what's 7 plus 2? Can you do 7 plus 2? Of course you can. 7 plus 2 is 9. So we still got nine, regardless. That last thing is gonna help you out when you look at multiplication and division between integers. Because what we actually just did here was take a negative times a negative, and we got a positive. Guess what? Negative times negative is positive. I'll see you in the next video.